Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's uh, Big Porky here, I'm joined by my good friend Dale Nichols from the Canuck in Birmingham. On Twitter, his Twitter handle is Dale the Great X. As in, you know Spencer X, Malcolm X, well we've got Dale the Great X. How are you doing Dale? Not bad mate, yeah. We are joined on the telephone with Mr. Philip Sims, aka the Stig from Hot London. <laughs> or Hot Stig. Now, Hot Stig's Twitter angle is at Move Counter King. Is that right? Yeah, at Stig Power 10. And Stig Power 10. Yeah. Right, why, why do they call you Stig Power? Or why is it called Stig Power, uh, Stig? Yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 Well, that's brilliant. Well, at the end of the day, right? What it is, right? You're your own man now, aren't you? You're your own man. You're. Uh, you, you're not. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea what you've done there, Phil. You're your own person, aren't you? And, uh, Then your stig power now, then are you? Stig power and not fury power. It's the same thing now. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's just changed the name. But the, the, the motivation, the inspiration, the drive, the passion, the indefatigability is still there. In fact, <laughs> it's even stronger. I'm absolutely not upset up. These trolls with no faces, no names, or anything to who have the temerity to comment to somebody who is genuinely there and not hiding anything are uh, absolutely irrelevant in fact. They're just pathetic. Anyway, in other news, water's wet. <laughs> 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 right, right, moving on from trolls and fury power or stick power. Moving on from that. I'm only pulling your leg, aren't I, Phil? Right. Oh, right. Anyway, moving on. Moving on from power, the power groups, whatever. Power Rangers. Moving on from you and your little uh, squad of Power Rangers. Let's move on to some more. <laughs> Steve, listen to me. Right, listen to me. I don't take anything that Tyson Fury says as gospel, mate. He's usually taking piss out of everybody, so let's move on from that. Right, you've had your shout oh, off, Tyson. Go and change your underpants now. Let's move on to let's move on to more pressing pressing matters. Uh, back at the nature at hand. Right, let's as uh, Snoop Doggy Dog would say. Right, more pressing engagements here. Tyson Fury against Tom Swartz. Who wins, Stig? Tyson, obviously. How does he win? He, 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 obviously, the points win is assured. He may not stop him. He's got the capacity to stop anybody. 
Right, is he, in, in your elegant way, is Tyson going to play with him to get the rounds under his belt or is he going to ice him early? What do you think? Ring general ship, yeah? Yeah, that's that's Tyson's mother. That's no man born from his mother. Now now you're talking like Tyson now, aren't you? <laughs> Right, listen to me, right, my mate, right, just wants to say something to you now, it's the porky pig, you know my little pig? <laughs> That's what he thinks of you, Stig, and your bullshit comments. Now, jo we're joking, Stig, right, listen, so you're saying that Tyson Fury is going to beat Tom Swartz on points, is that what you're saying? And he's going to practice his art, as you keep saying. He's not practicing his art, mate. He's living his life. He's, he's living his what? He's living his life. This isn't a dress rehearsal. Yeah, but, okay then, right. Would Peter Fury employ Tom Swartz as a sparring partner back in the day when he had Tyson? You're right, you really don't know, right. Is Tyson going to win on points or is he going to stop Tom Swartz? He's definitely going to win on points. He may well stop Tom Swartz. He has the capacity to stop Tom Swartz. He stopped Del Wichita in the second fight when he came into his indefatigable reality. And he also stopped Christian Hammer. All he says is just gone and he's just stopped Christian Hammer. Hammer in Florida. Never, yeah, he didn't. No, he didn't. Go on, Dale. Hang on, Dale wants to say something. Go on, Dale. There's a bit of a difference between a stoppage and the corner pulling him out. Yeah. Dale Boy's corner and Hammer's corner, they pulled them out, didn't they? No, they didn't go the distance, no, Stig. Alright, okay. As far as I'm concerned. Are you point scoring there with us, Stig? <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, he didn't knock him out, but the corners pulled him out because they took beatings, didn't they? Yeah, but that's Tyson. That's Tyson's style. He's a traditional heavy arm punch, Yeah, well, Stig, right, yeah. well, nobody's disputing the fact that Tyson Fury's got a, a style that works for him, but would you say it's an exciting style for the fans? Well, as far as or is it a pure style for the purists like yourself? Yeah. 
Hang on, like, over to you, Dale. What do you think? I think that the back foot style that Tyson's adapted over the years has only been bred out of his vulnerability to take a shot. Yeah, what we're saying is that they've developed a style for Tyson so that he can't get in a tear up because of his chin. Yeah, but listen, what we're saying is he keeps getting dropped, doesn't he, Stig? One of these days he could get dropped in a close fight and it could make a difference between him losing or winning, couldn't it? Trains amateurs, though, doesn't he? Yeah, but he was. So, because he trains amateurs, his opinion can't. He can't look at the reality of the situation and project that thing into the pro, the pro game. No, no, no. I'm just saying he trains amateur fighters. I'm not saying that Chris he doesn't. Smith, Chris Smith trains amateur fighters. Do you value and respect Chris Smith's opinion? Chris Smith is also a trained champions as pros, hasn't he? Just so you know, Stig. I can't say the guy's unbeatable, it's only one more title for him. Yeah, listen, Stig, you heard what, go on Dale, Let, oh, let's go over to Dale now, go on Dale. He's had, what, 29 pro fights or 28 pro 28 fights? 28 pro fights. He's won one more title fight. On what basis can you say he's unbeatable? His resume is piss poor. There you go, what do you think to that, Stig? He wanted to do what fight? Vladimir. Vladimir fight. Well, why didn't he, why didn't he fight Vladimir? They were waiting for him to get old, weren't they? No, they weren't. It was Vladimir that kept on avoiding. He kept on fighting the man with three years. He had three years of fighting Vladimir. He was the champion of the world. 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 He was the champion of the Frank Maloney offered Tyson £400,000 to fight David Price. Why didn't they have that fight when David Price... and When Tyson were a mandatory one, if it British, with David Price at one point, weren't they? Or were they mandatory? Well, pardon? I'm not sure about that. One of them... Nah, Price was mandatory. Price was mandatory, uh, wasn't Tyson, it? Wasn't it? Well, yeah. They never fought, did they, him and David Price, did they? Well, they didn't have it since they called twice, didn't they? David Price uh, won in the amateurs, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Do you seriously think over 12 rounds, over three rounds, Tyson Fury should have been the champion? Look, my opinion is this, right? When you, there's two sides of the coin. Tyson's made a big thing about him and Billy Joe Saunders being the last one standing from the 2008 team, right? Well, this is how I look at it. They've both waited it out, haven't they, really? I mean, if, who has Billy Joe fought where you've, he's gone into the fight as a massive underdog? Nobody. Who's Tyson fought when he's been a massive underdog? He did fight Vladimir, didn't he? So we have to give him that. Five but, to two. Yeah, five to two underdog. We have to give him that, don't we, right? And also, we have to say that Really, they're not going to put the sense in danger. He didn't want to go near David Price, did he? When he were knocking everybody out. He didn't fight him, did he? Now, everybody can laugh about that now, but he didn't fight Joshua when he were knocking everybody out. Joshua's been beat now, because eventually fighters get beat. Yeah, but we knew Joshua was going to get beat, because we knew he 
Yeah, yeah, we did, yeah, but why didn't Tyson, why, why did Tyson not take the fight when Ruiz had to take it, didn't he, in the end? Tyson needs to fight somebody, doesn't he? He's fighting a guy, ranked 56, tomorrow. No, I'm just looking at it from the other side. Look, let's just get this clear, right? I've met Tyson, I know him personally. He is a masterful boxer, but... I'm not happy about him fighting Tom Swartz. We're, we're hearing a lot of listen. We're hearing a lot of a lot of shouting and bawling about Wilder. Now, according to uh, Sam Watson, Tyson's not signed the deal to fight Wilder. But yet, we're hearing about done deals and made in a heartbeat and all this. There's fuck all made in a heartbeat, mate. I told you. Months ago, he's not going to fight him. He's had some fist. He knows that that guy can put your lights out for good. Now, fair enough, he took that fight. They had to throw, they had to roll the dice. They had to stick. Let me just stop you first, right? If we're going to continue, you have to stop jumping in. You've had your say. We're all going to have our says. Now, he's had, he's had his chance to fight Wilder. He took it. He got dropped twice. Fighting on the back foot away from home. I've watched a fight with no recordings on and you could get Tyson it by a round. Now, he's fighting away from home. They're not going to get a, share, a fair shake, are they? They're not going to stick. Now, if you're fighting on back foot, you're not going to rip the belt from him, are you? Now, if Wilder's dropped him twice and he's carried power 12 rounds, Tyson's going to be thinking, you know. I don't want to fight him again till he gets old. Go on, Dale. What do you think? I think the same. And another point I think worth making as well is who do you think would win between Jennings and Schwartz? Go on, Stig. You've got your chance. No. So, so you could say that Joe Joyce, in what, is it his eighth profile or something like that, he's fighting a better opponent than Tyson is? Right, listen to me, right, Joe Joyce has had nine fights, right, as a pro. He's fighting a guy, right, who's been in with Vladimir. Swartz has not been in with Vladimir, has he? As far as I'm concerned, this opponent is awful. It shouldn't be pay-per-view, Stig. There's no belt on the line. Tyson's four year without a world title win. And then it was only one world title win. When are we going to see him in a world title fight? When? What do you mean? Where do you think Tom Swartz is his pay per view fight? Well, it's a pay per view fight with the people running the business and putting the money to back Tyson behind it. Yeah, well, well, listen, I'm going to be critical because if I, I've got BT Sport at home and if I want to watch it and it's not on a stream, I've got to pay £20 to watch Tyson Fury in a title fight, sorry, in a fight that's not a title fight against a guy that were ranked 93 three months ago, he's now ranked 56. He went life and death with Gashi. Life and death with Gashi, he was a journeyman. Yeah, so, but, but, but you see, like, you, you said to me, hold, hold tight, don't say anything. Can you, 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 you then go to me a chance? I'm giving you your chance now, you've got your four, go on, Stig. I, I can't see the point that you're making. Try to just and in every man's opinion, Right, so he's ties so you're saying he beat Deontay Wilder then, yeah? Of course he beat Alright then well let's all agree that then. Ah, did you think he beat Wilder, Dale? I thought it was a really close fight, but I did think that Tyson nicked, nicked it. it, yeah. Well, I did, yeah, right. So we all agree that he beat Wilder then, yeah? Although I think he won it easily. Right, alright then well experts disagree, but it's boxing's of opinion. So Tyson's beat Wilder, so we're all on the same page then, aren't we, yeah? Yes. Right, so, hang on a minute, so he's the number one ring magazine fighter in the world at heavyweight, yeah? Right, so if he's the number one magazine fighter, ring magazine, wait, would the world be bringing out a Beano comic belt or a Hello magazine or 
What do you think, or, uh, hey? <laughs> right, okay. So it's a magazine belt. But basically, he hasn't got the ring mag ra belt round his waist, has he yet? Because that's vacant, isn't it? Yes. Right. So, Ring Magazine have got him at number one, and they're saying they feel he beat Wilder, yeah? Yes. Right. So, if he's that good, and he's defending this lineal championship, which we're going to come on to now, why is Tom Swartz his next opponent? Why isn't he going for somebody out of the, the top ten? He beats them all anyway. Who, 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 who does he beat? Right, well this is this is how I look at it, right? I don't think we can say he beats any of them until he fights them. That's what I think. I think you have to fight them and then we see, don't we? Now he's fought Wilder, hasn't he? Would you say that would you say that Wilder fight warrants a rematch? Yes. Right, and why hasn't he signed for a rematch? So this morning though, we're looking at quotes from Tyson saying he hasn't signed, but Wilder's signed. So what what you got to say to that, Stig? I really don't know, but I'm confident that Tyson is not afraid to sign yeah. Right. So if he hasn't fought Wilder in the next two years, what would you say then? Do you think it? Do you think it's going to happen next after he deals with Swartz? I really don't know. It might have been your time. It might have been. I mean, that's certainly rude. I really don't know. They're not going to let Dillian White fight him. No chance. Now, if he doesn't fight Dillian White next or Wilder, where does Tyson go after he fights the Tom the Power Swartz? It'd be a fucking yeah, love fest of Parker, wouldn't it? Tyson win a world title belt ever again, Stig. Yes, of course he will. So that, so to do that, he's gonna have to fight Ruiz, Joshua, or Wilder. Well, at the moment, he's gonna start fighting Ruiz, Wilder, and he beats both. Yeah, does he beat both? Yeah, Joshua will win. Yeah, Joshua. Do you think Joshua wins the rematch, Stig, against Ruiz? Then. He didn't win him off Fury, did he? No, he had, he had situation as unexpected. Yeah. Tyson Fury is going to go near anybody 
that's got a bit of power because I believe that he's come back just to get money because he's already got a world title belt so I think it's about money and I can't fault somebody for that because I've made mistakes like that myself in life where I've chased money and not other things uh, obviously at the moment I'm chasing other things that set money but I don't think money's the be and end all but where I have a problem with Tyson Fury is he's shouting out I'm the best, I'm the king, I'm this, I'm that but he's fighting Tom Swartz and he's four year from a world title win and that was a guy in his 40th year, his 68 fight He's had 369 rounds anyway, uh, Vladimir. He was a tired old champion. And he beat him and schooled him. Good luck to him, but I don't want to hear all this, I'm the best, I'm the best. And you're fighting Tom Swartz and it's 20 quid on pay-per-view. I don't want to fucking see that. And, and I keep saying I'm the voice of hardcore boxing. Well, I don't think that's good for hardcore boxing fans or even casual fans. I don't agree with it. Do you agree with it, Dale? 20 quid? I think it's a piss take. It's a piss take. It's a piss take. Now, if it were 20 quid and it were the cruiserweights that are fighting this weekend, you'd think that's not bad, wouldn't you? But that's just. But the casuals don't get that market, do they? I think Tyson has tapped into the casual market like Eddie Hearn. That's what I think. I mean, he's, going, he's running about, coming on about mental health. Good luck to him. But this fight, all I'm seeing is interviews talking about mental health. Now, it's supposed to be boxing, isn't it? I ain't got a problem with people backing things, but I think it's been overdone. And, it, and, it, and it's, it's taking away the fact that it's a shit fight. We've got Francis Warren uh, coming out with things like he doesn't want it to be... He doesn't want Fury Swartz to be a Joshua Ruiz 2. You know, in other words, you don't want it to be a banana skin. They're talking about banana skins to deflect the fact that, oh, it only takes one punch to turn a fight on its head. When do you see Tyson get hit? He very rarely gets hit, unless it's somebody elite. They're the only ones that lay a glove on him, like Vladimir and Wilder. Nobody else has really hit him hardly, have they? At elite level. Steve Cunningham, yeah, but you can't call really, yeah, Steve Cunningham, but you can't call him a heavyweight, can you? Because he's a cruiser, one he's blown up. Yeah, okay, so then, uh, he's, he's irrelevant then, isn't he? Yeah, he's irrelevant, but he, he, he hit Tyson. You'd have to say that we're an elite fight because Tyson were world ranked and still with Steve Cunningham, but Steve Cunningham and Vladimir both stuck it on Tyson, didn't they? Vladimir won them last three rounds, you could say, couldn't you, against Tyson, but... I'd say at least the last three, would you, or two? Well, when he fought Cunningham, wasn't that an eliminator in the, in the RBF? Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. And then he pulled out of the pool of thought, did he not? To fight David Aitch. Just to fight David Aitch. Yeah, David Aitch. David Aitch chickened out those fights. So the pool was supposed to be a final eliminator, weren't he? Yeah. And it was all, reads, all roads lead to Vladimir, weren't he, at that yeah. point? Yeah. Well, he would have been beat pool if you get Vladimir. But now they, they thought, we'll take a pay-per-view fight against David Aitch, knowing that, really, they, they, you know, they probably had word of Tony Bellew that he's shot to pieces. Because yeah, yeah. he'd already pulled out the fight with Char, hadn't he, through injury. Yeah. So, then David I pulled out. Then it was, well, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll sit another two years and wait for Vladimir to get two years older. Yeah, that's how I look to sit. But he did, he did get Vladimir in end, though, didn't he, Tyson? He did get him, didn't he, in end? Gentlemen, can, yeah. can, I, can I say something? Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Let me just take the camera over, mate. Two seconds. Two seconds, mate. Uh, Fifteen. Hang on. Hang on. Right. 